Hi there, welcome to Scrap and Coffee. Today another Scrappy Basics video. We are going to attach pockets onto our pages. So we are going to do a normal pocket, a stack pocket, a pocket on a flap and an angled pocket. And I'm going to start with a normal pocket. Let's start at the beginning. So I have a piece here and I'm going to measure it for you really quick is um, five and five eighths. And I know it's a weird measurement, but that's because I wanted to fit on top of my page by two and a half. And on the five and five eighths, I've made a score line at half an inch uh, on both sides. So that's half an inch and five and one eighths of an inch. And on the two and a half inch side, I've made a score line at half an inch. So we have three score lines. I'm looking at the dented side right now. And my score line is on the sides and on the bottom. If you are placing your double sided tape, and I will show you on this piece. I only have a quarter of an inch tape now for my construction. I personally don't recommend it, but I will show you on this pocket. I am going to place my tape closer to the cut edge than to the score line between my score line. So I'm starting here at my half inch all the way across the bottom up to that other half inch score line. And cut it off. On the sides, I'm going to do the same thing from top close to the cut edge then to the score line up to that half inch score line on the bottom. And just cut it off and I will do the same thing over here on the dented side. So then what we are going to do is we are going to minor the pocket, the corners on the pocket. We, want, we are going to fold this over and we want to reduce the bulk in your album. So what we are going to do is we are going to cut here where the score lines meet. I'm just going to make a pencil mark in the hope you can see it a little bit better. But here you can see a little intersection of those two score lines. And we are going to cut in about a 45 degree angle through that intersection and just cutting off this little corner here. I'm just placing my scissors, cut right through that intersection, cut it off. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So this is what we get. And that's why I don't place my tape all the way to the end, because I know I'm going to cut away all of that tape that's going over there. So now I'm going to fold towards the bumpy side on all three of my score lines. And what I like to do, but it's also something personal, you don't have to do it like this. I fold on the long side, I burnish that side. And then I'm going to fold on my shorter flaps and I'm just going to check if this doesn't overlap. And if you, as you can see, it's overlapping and you don't want that because then you still have bulk in your album. So I'm just going to slightly cut away a little bit more. Try not to go over this uh, intersection here. You want to keep that piece intact. So again, checking it and now it doesn't overlap anymore. And that's what I want. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. They don't overlap, so that's good. And now I'm just going to burn those folds on the side. And this pocket, now we've created a pocket. We can, we are going to attach it onto our first base page. This is the page that has the tunnel. We placed the flap on here in our previous video. I'm going to flip it up and I'm going to place this pocket on the bottom of this piece. And what I'm going to do is, because my binding is over here, just as I did with the flaps, I'm going to stay away about one eighth of an inch from this binding. And the measurement that was five and five eighths of an inch for this pocket provides for you to stay, that you stay away about one eighth of an inch from this side if you line it up with your right side and the bottom. 
So now um, I'm going to remove this tape backing on one side. You can remove it all in once. You can just uh, line it up and then remove it when it's uh, lying on there. You just need to find something that works for you. And for me, it's different now because I'm uh, doing it on camera. It's easier for me to remove one side. Normally I would remove all sides. And also this is a little bit bulked up now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and make sure I have as flat as a surface I can, as I can get. So now I'm lining it up with the corner on the right side and the bottom. Stick it down. Now I've only removed my tape backing from here, so I'm able to open up my pocket. And remove the tape backings from the other two half inches. And then carefully, because if you don't, don't think now that, oh, I've put it on here straight, so it will go on there straight. No. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way. You need to take care of how you place it still. So I'm just going to get it a line on the bottom and then stick it down on the side. And that's our pocket. A simple basic pocket. And we can put stuff in here and the flap will go over. Now in the Scrappy Basics videos, um, in this series at least, I'm not going over any closures. But if you want, you can use a magnet so your flap will stay on top of here. But that's a whole other topic. So, And then I'm going to flip the whole page over. Because we have an opening here. But I'm just going from front to the back. And here we are going to place our stack pocket. And for that, I've, again, I've made a... Um, Standard pocket piece, same size as we did on the front. It's five and five eighths with score lines on uh, half an inch on each side by two and uh, no, two and a half, I think it was yeah, two and a half. And on that side, I've made one score mark, so I have three score lines. This I'm going to do with glue, so I'm not placing any tape now. I'm going to minor these corners again, so I'm going to cut toward through that intersection of those score lines. And I'm going to fold on my score line. So I'm basically doing the exact same thing as I did on the previous piece. Oh, that was my thread from my uh, microphone. Again, I'm checking if they don't overlap and I'm just about right. And here I'm also right. Now, what I also learned just by doing is that when I use a small scissors for the minoring of my corners, like I have these small scissors that I, was, that I was using a lot, I was off more often than when I use the big scissors. And I don't know why or how, but it's, it's just a fact for me that when I use the smaller scissors, I had overlapping all the time. I have to correct it. And uh, mostly when you need to correct, you need to cut extra. You have a big chance that you cut um, a little bit too far inwards on your piece. So I like to do this with a uh, bigger scissors. Now we are on the, we are going to attach it. We are on the back uh, of our page, the tunnel page. And I'm going to attach this one uh, on the bottom again. And now my, the hinge, my binding will be on my right side. So I need to stay away from the right side. So I'm going to line it up with my left and bottom corner and then place it on top of the piece. And I'm going to do, use wet glue. And because I'm using wet glue, I can do all three sides at once. If my glue still wants to cooperate. I should have closed it in between. And I didn't. There we go. So now I, this art glitter glue dries really quick, so you don't have a lot of wiggle time, but you have a little bit of wiggle time. So I'm placing it on the corner. Again, I made the surface as flat as I can for me, for myself. And I place it on there and I give it a good burnish. And I'm going to close my glue. And then I will show you how I stayed away from that. Uh, binding side again. So now you can see the both bow pockets next to each other and on both sides I've, I stayed away about one eighth of an inch. And the measurement that I gave you provides for it. 
So now we are going to place our stack pocket. So we are going to make an, an extra pocket on top of this pocket without the bulk. Now I have a piece that measures also 5 and 5 eighths of an inch. Score lines on half inch on both sides. And on the and I this piece is two and three quarters of an inch. And I've made a score line at three quarters from the bottom. So three quarters away from the bottom, I had my score line. I like to do this with three quarters. I always um, take three quarters of an inch for my stack pocket. Now you can do it with half an inch. Uh, that will work perfectly. It's just a personal preference. Now for this piece, we are going to make a little bit of a different cut. We are going to cut on the three quarters score mark up to our half inch. And we are going to cut it at an angle on both sides. So I'm just making that pencil mark again. So I hope you can see it a little bit better. So on this score line, the three quarters from the bottom, I'm going to cut up to that half inch score line. And you have to be careful not to go through the score line, just up to that score line. And then with an angle, I'm cutting towards that intersection. And now, uh, oh, let's keep it in. Uh, I will show you in a sec. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Cut up to that score line and in an angle again up to that score line. So we've got this piece a little different. Just like that. Now we are only folding on our score lines at half an inch. So I'm going to fold this one in and this one in. And now this is a nice uh, edge. Maybe you can see it best on the white, with the white background. Now here you see, I didn't cut very nice. I have a little thingy hanging there. I have my flap folded in and I'm just going to place my scissors here and cut that away. Make sure you don't cut in your fold. So now it looks nice and clean. Here we are placing our glue uh, now only on this half inch flap. So if you use double sided tape you place it on the dented side on the half inch flaps only. And you can stop placing your tape at the three quarters of an inch because you will cut away everything uh, everything else. So but now I'm going to use glue, so I'm going to fold it in and I'm going to place my glue on the outside of that half inch flap. And we are not folding on that three quarters of an inch. So with those flaps folded in, I'm going to shove this into that first pocket that we've placed. And our score line will make sure that we will stop in time and that you are straight. So I've lined it up here with the edge again and here still I'm away about one eighth of an inch from that from that fold from your binding side. So I'm going to burnish this. I have a little bit of glue on my finger so I'm making a little bit of a mess here but that will be fine. So I'm going to close my glue and now what I have is a pocket here that goes to the bottom and a pocket over here that goes all the way to the bottom. Now when you are going to mat, and I will show you in the video where I'm uh, going over my rules of matting, you don't have to mat this piece all the way to the bottom, just a little bit in your pocket, but I will show you in the other video. So that completes our first page for our mini album. So I have a flap here and a pocket here, some flaps on the inside and a uh, stack pocket on the back. Then I'm going to my second page. Here we are going to make an angled pocket and we are going to make a pocket on top of a flap. So what I what I have here, here I'm going to keep the front just as it is, plain. I'm opening it up once and I'm going to place my stack pocket on here. And now I'm telling you this, but I'm a little bit in doubt. Uh, yep, I have it over here. I have one um, already prepared, one page. So here I have it on the inside. 
but it's a little bulky so I'm just feeling like do I want it over here or do I want it on the front so I'm gonna do it on the front on this one and it doesn't matter that it's on the inside here changes up things and that's fine because you can change up things in your album so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this flat and then I have a piece here and again I'm going to give you the measurements really quick five and a half by four and no I am going to place it on the inside because the measurement I adjusted it for placing it on the inside because and I'm going to tell you why this flap that we've placed is about one eighth of an inch away from the inside fold and now I'm going to make an angle pocket and I also want that to stay away from this fold a little bit as well so normally when I would place it on the outside my piece would be one eighth of an inch uh, wider than it is now so I, I've adjusted the measurement for placing it on the inside so we are going to place it on the inside so the piece was five and a half back to it five and a half by four on the four inch side I have one score line at half an inch and on the five and a half I have two score lines on each side half an inch now we are going to angle it and I don't really have a um, how do you say that? A thumb of rule? A rule of th a thumb of rule? Uh, on your measurements that you make. You just make it on what looks good to you personally. So um, I've already did it here. So I'm going to make it the same as I did on the other one. So I'm just going to measure what I did because I don't remember. This measures two. So I need to do it at two and a half because I need to take this half inch in account with my measurement. And this one was one and three quarters okay so in order to do it the same i'm going to line up my ruler i have my score lines on the sides and on the bottom dented side facing up and i'm going to make a pencil mark at two and a half inches on the top and on the bottom i am going to do it at two and a quarters uh, but here i'm going to not measure it on my cut edge i am measuring it on my score line so two and a quarter and i did that on my score line as you can see here the pencil mark isn't really big but i have one here and i have one here and i'm going to connect those two pencil marks with my ruler and my pencil draw a line all the way to the end so from cut edge to cut edge but this was, this was my um, center mark for making the pencil mark and I'm going to cut away on that line and now I have an angle in my pocket you can do this with a paper trimmer as well if you want to make sure it's really straight and again because this is a pocket i am minoring these corners i'm cutting through that intersection and then we are going to fold on the score lines again so again i'm just going to fold on the bottom burnish it fold over on the smaller one make sure they don't overlap and they overlap slightly and that's better and, then, and this is good so now we are going to burnish those as well and I'm going to attach this with glue so on the inside of my second page and I'm going to line it up with the left bottom corner and then what I will get is that spacing again between uh, my pocket and my fold from my flap so the flap can still fold properly so if you were putting on your glue you would do it on the dented side again and I would do that before I was uh, you were minoring your corners and, bef and I would also make my pencil mark first before I place the tape so you know uh, where you can stop placing the tape 
and I will show you in a sec what I mean with that. I'm just lining it up here. So uh, on the score line on this side from the pay, from the pocket, the score line that we had here, you don't have to place tape all the way to the top because you are going to cut away this whole piece. So if you make your pencil mark first, then you know uh, you place your tape just over that pencil mark and then you can cut away and you're not cutting away that whole strip of tape. So make your pencil mark first and then place your tape. So this is the angle pocket and it's closed on three sides and that's how I like it. And we can place our photos or something else in that pocket and the flap will just fold over it and I can still close it. So now I am going to make a pocket on top of a flap. So first we need a flap and that's this one. And it measures six and a half by three inches. And on the three inch side, I've made the score mark at half an inch. And I'm going to taper it because it's going over the whole length of the page. So I want to hide that construction, tapering it, folding towards that bumpy side and burnish. Then I have a piece that measures seven and a half by three inches. On the seven and a half inch side, I've made a score mark at half an inch on both sides. So my uh, pocket will eventually be six and a half, fitting right on top of that flap. And this is uh, three inches, one score line at half an inch, so it will be two and a half inches. So I'm going to minor these corners again, cutting through that intersection and folding on those score lines towards the bumpy side. Again, if you place double-sided tape, do it before you fold on the bumpy side, on the, sorry, on the dented side. Burnish that. Make sure they don't overlap. And burnish those sides. So I'm going to lay this flap flat again. It's just one of those words that are pretty hard for me to announce. So when I hear myself saying it, I'm like, oh, that sounds really stupid. And I'm going to place it, lining it up with the cut edge on the top. And of course, on my two sides. So for now, placing the glue on the outside of those flaps. And I'm going to line it up here, stick it down. I think I need to make a little adjustment, but I can because I'm using the wet glue. But you need to be quick. Give it a good burnish so it really sticks. And now when I fold my half inch flap over from that, um, flap then I can attach that onto my um, my page. So this is the front of the page here we just attached the angle pocket I have the two flaps inside and then I go to the back of the page and here I have my folded over edge I don't need to worry about hinge or binding system so I can just line it up with that outside edge and that's what I will do so I'm placing my glue again on the outside of that half inch And I will place it right here on the edge, the back of my page. I need to give this a really good burnish. And give it some time to dry and really stick before you go and do anything crazy with it. Close up my glue. And then, just for fun, I wanted to place one more pocket on here that will hold little um, journaling cards or a little tag, just 
just for fun because we can so i'm going to place a pocket on top of a pouch pocket that's what i'm calling these things it's a pocket on a flap and i'm calling this like a pouched pocket so this piece if i'm correct it measures three and a half by three and a half yes yes and on one side i've made score lines on half an inch on the both sides and on one side i've only done it on one side so we are having that three score lines again that are going to form a pocket but this is going to be a small pocket it's going to be well you can place things in there that are going to stick out but i want to make sure that i am able to reach what i want to reach so we are going to make a little punch with our envelope board you can also use like a circle punch punch it halfway through i want to punch it in the middle so it's three and a half that's like one and three quarters yes just making sure here so i'm going to line up my, the edge of my pocket with the one and three quarters on my punch board give it a punch and i have a nice notch in the middle and i hardly ever make envelopes but that's what i use my envelope punch board for <laughs> again i'm going to minor these corners On both sides fold on my score lines towards that bumpy side check if they don't overlap and they're fine so you see this is going to be a pretty small pocket and that's why i like to make a notch in there because it's going to be hard to reach in there otherwise and this i'm going to place on top of that pouched pocket so glue on the outside of the flaps of that half inch and I really need to clean my bottle I'm not being very careful with how I place my glue on there it's, this is art glitter glue it's a really strong glue you don't need much Trust me, you won't be able to get it off when it sticks and when it dries. Well, you will be able to get it off, but you will rip the whole project. The whole page. Again, something I've learned the hard way. <laughs> so give it a good burnish. And then we have a little pocket here on top of our pocket. I'm not going to pull on it too hard. You need to give it a little bit time to dry. With a little notch in it so that will be fun if you want to mat this again i will take that with me in the video that we do about the matting um, we can still use our punch board for that little notch here so i will show you in that video now we have these flaps here so you can decide for yourself if you want to go have them go on top or you want to have them on the bottom so you can play around with that and that completes the second page for our album so um, that's it for this video, I guess. We are going to uh, mat our pages with pattern paper. Then we are going to attach them into our album. And in the end, we will also do some pockets or something on the inside of our covers. But we, I will show you that in a later video. I don't know if it will be a part of the Scrappy Basics or I will just make a separate video of that. But I will see. So for now, I want to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video and enjoy the rest of your day.